Hello everybody, welcome to your next music lesson. I'm going to start off today with a warm up like Sean gave me last week if you saw his video where we're going to shake everything out till we're nice and warm and we're going to start off by taking our left hand or if you want you could take your right hand it's up to you and you're going to shake it out eight times and you've got to shout loud one two three four five six seven eight can you do that with me nice loud voice here we go a one two three four five six seven eight now let's swap hands and do the same thing nice and loud here we go a one two three four five six seven eight now we're going to take a left foot or you could use your right foot as long as you choose one and let's shout out loud as we shake our foot. Here we go. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try not to fall over as you balance on one foot. Take the other leg and let's shake out that leg as well. Here we go. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> now we're going to go back up to our arms again, but this time we're going to halve it. And instead of counting eight, we're going to count in fours. Take your first arm, nice and loud. Here we go, a one, two, three, four. Swap hands, four again, off we go, a one, two, three, four. Choose a leg, four times, here we go, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> Choose the other leg, four times, a one, two, three, four. Back up to the top again, take your next arm, and we're gonna do it half again. So half of four, we do it in sets of two. Here we go. A one, two, change hands. A one, two, down to your legs. One, two, other leg. One, two. <laughs> and finally, if we go half again, we're going to do ones. So up here, it's really quick. We do one hand, one, like that. Next hand, one, one leg, one kick. Other leg, one kick. Now the trick, of course, is to put it all together. So nice and loud with your voices, keep counting from sets of eight, down to four, down to two, down to one, and when you get to the end, I want you to do a rubber chicken. Yes, a rubber chicken. You kind of start low and you go like this. Rubber chicken! Got it! Obviously you've got to love your rubber chickens at the end. Are you ready to shout loud? Sets of eight. Ready? Steady? Here we go. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 one. Rub chicken. And really. I'd like to play another of our copycat claps games now. I'm going to clap some patterns of long and short sounds for you to copy. Before I do, do you remember what the word was, which means a pattern of long and short sounds? I think Sean might have told it to you already if you watched Sean's video last week. It's called a rhythm. A rhythm. I'm going to clap some rhythms for you to copy back. Here's the first one. That was long, long, short, short, long. Let's do another one. Try this. Did you get it? Let's do one that you're not allowed to clap. This is the naughty one. If you hear this one, you have to put it on your head. Put your hands on your head. So here's the, here's the first pattern. This is the first naughty pattern that you're not allowed to clap. Have a listen to what I do. As soon as you hear that, you put your hands on your head. Listen to it again. That's the naughty one. Stick your hands on your head. Sometimes I find if I can put words with my rhythms, it helps me to hear the patterns more easily. When I clap this, the naughty pattern, it makes me think of 
I'm having chips for tea. And as soon as I hear that sentence, I can put my hands on my head. Let's play the game then. Clap whatever I clap, unless you hear, I'm having chips for tea. And you can put your hands on your head too, because you can. So you've got to catch it. Here's the first one. You should have clapped that. Well done if you clapped it. Here's another one. Hopefully, I heard silence then because you've all got your hands on your head. Did you hear the words in your head? I'm Here's another one. Did you clap it? Last one then. Have you got your hands on your head? I hope so. Well done everybody. Here's a silly poem for you. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. One sock off and one sock on. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. I'd like you to learn that with me. I'll say a bit and you can copy it back. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. Went to bed with his trousers on. One sock off and one sock on. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. Should we try it all the way through? Ready, steady, here we go. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John, went to bed with his trousers on. One sock off and one sock on. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. Let's do it one more time, just so that we know that you've really got those words in your head. Ready, steady, here we go. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John, Went to bed with his trousers on. One sock off and one sock on. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. Now if you need to practice that a couple of times, you could stop the video here until you've got it perfectly. And then when you have got it, join me on the next clip and we're going to see if we can make it just a little bit harder. So have you got that poem? Okay. Here we go, let's make it a bit more tricky. The first thing that you're going to do, when you get to the word trousers, you're not allowed to say it out loud. You can only think the word, but not say it. When you get to it, instead of saying it out loud, clap on the sound instead, like this. Shall we try the poem all the way through? Don't forget. Don't say trousers. <laughs> Ready, steady, here we go. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John went to bed with his <coughs> on. One sock off and one sock on. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. Did you manage it? <laughs> Should we make it a bit harder then? This time, you can't say trousers, you've got to clap. But you can't say sock either. <laughs> when you get to the word sock, I want you to stamp your foot like that. So no trousers and no socks. Ready, steady, here we go. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John went to bed with his <coughs> on. One off and one on. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. I hope you're remembering all of this. Shall we make it even harder? So, diddle diddle dumpling. We're not going to say diddle diddle dumpling anymore. You're going to pat out the rhythm of diddle diddle dumpling on the tops of your legs. Okay, 
Can you hear the word? Diddle, diddle, dum. So you're going to tap out dibble, dibble, di diddle, diddle, dumpling. <laughs> you're going to clap on trousers and you're going to stamp on sock. Woohoo! Ready? Steady? Here we go. My son John went to bed with his on. One off and one on. My son John. Oh goodness me, it's getting very tricky, but I am not finished yet. Finally, we're not going to say my son John either. There are three sounds, my son John. My, you're going to tap your head. Son, you're going to tap your shoulders. John, can you click your fingers? If not, you can always pretend. And when you put those three together, it looks like this. Let's try the whole thing all the way through, nice and slowly. Ready? Tap your legs. Ready? Steady. Here we go. Went to bed with his on. One off and one on. Shall we do that again? Did you get yourself in a bit of a mess then? Let's have another go. Still nice and slow. Ready to tap your legs. Ready? Steady. Here we go. Go. Went to bed with his on. One off and one on. If you've got yourself in a bit of a pickle, keep practicing till you can do it and see when you get home or if you're home already, see if you can impress your family. I'd like to do a song with you now. I wonder if it's a song that you know already. It's called The Grand Old Duke of York. I'm going to sing it all the way through. And if you know it, why don't you join in with me? And at the same time, let's do some marching on the spot like the soldiers marching up the hill. song already. It's a very popular children's song. If you don't know it, what you could do is go back to the start of this clip and have another listen to it a couple of times and get used to the song and then when you've got it, come back to me and we'll see how we can make it a bit more interesting. Let's sing it all the way through together. And while you're singing it, you're going to be marching on the spot. You're going to be marching to a slow, steady beat. And if you saw Sean's video last week, 
he used that word, beat. Beat was different to the word rhythm. Can you remember why? So a rhythm was a mixture of short and long sounds, but a beat is something that stays steady all the time. Imagine your heartbeat. Unless you've been running, in which case it might speed up, <laughs> or if you're sleeping, in which case it will slow down. But otherwise, your heartbeat will stay the same all the way through. So while we're marching to our Grand Old Duke of York song, think about keeping a steady beat with your feet. to a steady beat. I'd like to show you what a steady beat looks like written down as music. Here it is. Here's a steady beat. Four blobs all looking exactly the same and each blob has got a stick on it. <laughs> we went left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Why don't you march as I point to the, the beats? Ready, steady, aim, go. Don't get faster, keep it steady. So that is our steady beat. I've got another card I'd like to show you now. A little bit different. They look as if they're holding hands at the top there, don't they? They've got a best friend each. They're in pairs. And when you see pairs of notes like this, these go twice as fast. So it's the fast beat, not that slow, steady beat that we did the first time. To make sure that you go at the right speed, I want you to imagine that the Grand Old Duke of York isn't marching his men up the hill. He's asking them to jog up the hill. That's a pretty, pretty tricky task, isn't it? So he's going to go joggy, 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 twice as fast. Can you get your feet to jog as I point to each note? Ready, steady, here we go. Joggy, 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 joggy. Let me remind you of the first card, which was the steady beat. March, 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 march. Left, right, left, right. And the fast one where the soldiers have to jog. Jogging, 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 jogging. I'm going to play the music again in the next clip. But I would like you to march on the spot when I show this card and I'd like you to jog on the spot when I show you this card. Get ready to join me in the next clip. Now I don't expect you to try and sing at the same time as marching and jogging, otherwise you're going to get very out of breath. But do watch closely to which card I'm holding up. And when I change my card, you have to change from your march steps to your jogging steps. Okay, let's give it a go.
It's time to get creative again. The first week you made a shaker, the second week you made a drum, and this week I need you to get hold of a few things that we can create two different types of sound. Let me explain a bit more. Things are made of all sorts of different materials. We've got glass, plastic, uh, metal, cardboard, all sorts of different things go to making up items. So for instance, what I've got here is a plastic pot and I've found a piece of card. So I've got plastic and card here and I'm going to attach these two. So just like I got a bit sticky making my shaker, all I'm going to do is use some sticky tape I'm going to stick my card onto my plastic tub like this. So I've got two types of material joined together. I've got the card on the top and I've got the plastic underneath. That's one idea. I'll show you some other things that I've thought of. I actually found this, an old candle jar, or you might have a jam jar. But the, the lid is metal and the jar is glass. So I've got two different materials joined together here with my metal lid and my glass jar. Oh, it smells nice like a candle. I've got another one here. Here's one that I've had a little go at. I've got an old saucepan from my kitchen and over the top of it I've stretched a piece of plastic, it's just a plastic sandwich bag, and I've put an elastic band around it so that I've got plastic and metal. So there's two different as well. You never know, if you're at home and your saucepans have got lids on them, and maybe the lids are made of glass, when you put those together, you've got metal and you've got glass. So all you need is to come up with something inventive with two different types of material joined together. You could put cardboard over a saucepan. You could stretch a bag over a bottle. Anything, as long as it's got two different textures to it. When you've done that, pop back and I'll tell you what you need next. Now, I've been having a little experiment with my objects to try and get as many different types of sounds out of them as possible. And I noticed that a wooden spoon on a glass saucepan lid sounds different to a metal spoon on a glass lid. And that sounds different to a plastic spoon on a glass lid. Let me play those different sounds again. So on glass I can have wood, metal, or plastic. And each one makes a slightly different sound. I wonder if it makes a different sound on a metal lid. Let's start off with a wooden spoon. Metal. Bit louder maybe. 
and the plastic spoon. I can hear the difference from where I'm sitting. You might not hear it quite so well where you are. So maybe you need to do your own experimenting. So again, I'm going to send you off to find some different materials that you can hit your um, sound boxes with. See if you can find something wooden or something metal or something plastic, or maybe you've got a different idea that you could hit it with. And then we're going to come back and we're going to experiment with our sounds. Well, I've chosen my favourite one. Have you chosen your favourite one? I'm going to go for the metal lid and the glass jar and I'm going to use my wooden spoon. So I've got three different things. I've got wood and metal and glass. When I hit my metal lid with my wooden spoon and when I hit the glass, two very different types of sounds. Okay, so on your instrument that you've chosen, that you've put together with its two different sounds and using whichever banging device you like the sound of best, let's see if you can also create two different sounds. I'm going to take my plastic pot and my cardboard and I think I'll go for my metal spoon. What do yours sound like? Have a play. Keep playing. I'm just going to try one more. I'm going to try my metal saucepan with my glass lid with my plastic spoon. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? Okay, dokie. So hopefully you've got your instruments sorted now and we're ready to go. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to play our instruments in different ways to our Grand Old Duke of York, Grand Old Duke of York music. So I'll catch you in a bit, ready to carry on. Okay, let's move on with our lesson. And I'm just going to remind you, first of all, of this sign. Do you remember what we did when we saw that? March, 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 March. And also, let me just find it, this sign. Do you remember what we did when we saw that? Jogging, 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 jogging. What do you think you would do then if you saw this sign? Mm. It looks like we're going to be marching, but watch out. You've got to do a jogging there instead. So it would go like this. March, march, jogging, march. If you did it on the floor on the spot, it would go march, march, jogging. How about instead of using our feet, why don't we use our hands like this? March, march, jogging, march. Have a go. Why don't you do the whole thing four times? Ready, steady, here we go. March, march, jogging, march. March, march, jogging, march. March, march, jogging, march. Last time, jogged, march. How do you get on? So here we've got a pattern of long and short sounds. Do you remember what Sean called a pattern? of long and short sounds. A rhythm. That's right. I've got another rhythm for you. Here it is. Shorts and longs all mixed up. Try clapping what you see. Ready, steady, here we go. Jogging march, jogging march. So it should sound like this. Let's try the card four times. Ready, steady, here we go. Jogging, march, jogging, march, jogging. Try clapping. Jogging, march, jogging, march, jogging, march, jogging, march. Do you 
know what? I think I need somebody to help me because I can't hold the card and clap at the same time. I think I need Sean. I'm going to go and see if I can find him and bring him back to help me. And I'll see you in just a second. Look who I found hanging behind my curtain. Oh, I've asked him to come and help me. I've given him my cards and he is going to change the card. Oh, I seem to have got a little friendly cat as well. Hello. My cat's come to visit. Oh, hello. Oh, dear me. I tell you what, I'll just get rid of the cat and then I'll come back to you. Oh, I've got a tail up my nose. I'll come back. I'll come back to you in a minute. The cat's gone. <laughs> now then, where was I? Ah, oh, yes. We were going to be clapping some of our rhythms and we're thinking of the words march or jogging. And I've got Sean along here because he's going to change the cards whenever you like, Sean. And we've got to try and match the new pattern up with our clapping. So shall we have a go? What are you going to choose for us first, Sean? I am going to shuffle them up and I am going to choose this one. Ah, easy peasy. Okay, starting this end. Maybe you could move it along with your finger. Oh, I could do that. If I hold it, it would be made like that now. Oh. Okay. Tell you what, why don't you put the others down? I could do, couldn't I? And then you just pick them up. There we you just, go. We're going to keep going until he grabs another one. <laughs> would you follow it along with your finger? Yeah, or? yeah, I can do. Ready, steady, here we go. Jogging, jogging, march, march. Jogging, jogging, march. Now we're going to keep going. Can you remember that pattern? Until Sean shows us a new one. Oh, what have we got? We've got march, march, jogging, jogging, march, march. Let's keep going on that pattern. And Sean's going to choose us a new one. Sean chooses us a new pattern. Jogging, march, what have we got? Oh, it's march, march, jogging, march, march, join in, jogging, march. Two more times, I think. And hold it there. Now then, the next clip, you're going to need your instrument. The one that we made a few minutes ago. So you Get that ready with your beating stick, whatever you've decided to use. So I've chosen my jar, my gas jar with a metal lid and my wooden spoon. Now this is where it might get just a little bit more interesting. You need to decide which sound you want your march to be. Do you want it to be a metal sound or a glass sound? Or if you've got plastic, do you want it to be a plastic sound? Choose one of the sounds for your instrument to be the march sound and choose the other sound that you can make on your instrument to be the jogging sound. Let me show you what mine now sounds like. Jogging, march, jogging, march. I'm going to use the glass for the jogging and the metal for the march. Have a listen. Did you like that, Sean? I like that I, very much. Can you give me another one? Okay, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I can handle the pressure. I like this. Ooh. So my march was my metal and my joggings was my glass. So I'm going to go on that. It's your turn. Pick up your instrument with your beater that you've chosen. Select us a rhythm there, Sean. I'm going to choose, in fact, what I'm going to, why don't you Ooh. choose one? Okay, I'm not looking, I'm not choose looking. one. That one there, okay. Ooh. Have you decided which sound you want to be the march and which sound you want to be the jogging? Is that time up then? Have we got to go now? Is it tea time? <laughs> Can we have a little bit longer? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> like this. Ready, steady, off we go. How 
time to get on. Should we try a different one? You know, alarm's not going to go off again, is it? I hope not. Good. Because it's not tea time yet. I think we'll have this one. Okay. Got your sounds ready? Ready, steady, off we go. Jumping march, jumping march, jumping march, jumping march. Now, by now, I'm hoping that you're getting the hang of this. Because the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back to our grand old Duke of York music and we're going to try putting our jogging march rhythms in time to the beat of the music. And maybe Sean could even change the cards as we go and see if he can catch us out. So join me in a second for the next clip. I'm very excited. I'm going to get to play my instrument with the music following all the rhythms that Sean's going to choose. Are you excited as me? Shall we play the music then and see how it goes? Those were fast rhythms, weren't they? <laughs> but look, you've got your instrument now and you understand about short and long sounds and fast and slow sounds. So you can go around the house and make lots of fast and slow and loud sounds with your instrument, see who you can annoy. <laughs> and thank you for your help today, Sean. Quite all right, Alison. Next time I could help you if you need any help from me. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, have a lovely week and we'll see you soon.